Uh, why don't you just kind of recap this past week, you know, what, yeah. the, what the team's up to, uh, trying to get better. Yeah, uh, trying to get better, <laughs> trying to get better. Um, just left practice, thought we had a good response to obviously Saturday. Um, our kids are, are fascinating to watch, you know, like um, I felt like our effort was good against the BG team. I just felt like we went way too many empty possessions. Um, and then defensively did some wonky things that didn't always equate to good things, you know. So long story short, watched film today, got better, got back to work, and um, I feel like the overall uh, feel of our locker room is still really, really high. You, you always talk about this team learns a lot more after mm -hmm. a loss. What, yeah. even, like, what about after a, you know, a loss like that where obviously yeah. th a lot of things didn't go well? Can you still learn from a lot from that? Absolutely. Um, you know, at one point we had cut it down to eight. I think uh, somewhere in the third um, against a BG team that's very experienced and talented. You can't make multiple mistakes, multiple possessions, and we couldn't get to a timeout fast enough. Um, but I do think our kids saw um, when we're locked in and we're focused and we cover things defensively the right way, uh, it leads to good things for us. Offensively, we struggled a little bit, um, and we're still trying to tighten some things off on the offensive, offensive side of things. But uh, overall, I think – just watching it, being very matter of fact about where we need to get better, some growth areas, um, understanding personnel, um, those type of things. I think our kids respond well to that. Obviously, it's tough to win if if Peyton and Ivy only come away with 16 yeah. points combined. But are you kind of encouraged by that other people were able to find a way to get <clears> on the score sheet? Yeah, I think um, by now everybody knows who Peyton and Ivy are. <laughs> you know, they, they shouldn't have easy nights. Um, I, I'd be concerned if they had easy nights, you know. And so I think that's the conversation I've had with both of them now. Um, I think our team is up for the challenge. You know, I, I think we have very capable scorers and Amani Freeman and Sierra Morrow, um, Maddie Clouse, obviously. Um, so some different guys can step up. I thought Jesse Dye's numbers were, were good. Um, obviously getting Riley more acclimated to the game. Sydney played a really, really well-played game for her. Um, the other night, so I was happy with her performance. I can go down the line. So long story short, I think uh, we have kids that are learning more, that are capable, um, and obviously P and Ivy can't be held down too long. All right, moving on to Western mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday night. Is it a different scout to look at them now just with because of their leading scores out for the year? I mean, yeah. I think anytime your leading score is out, it's a different scout. Um, they've played four games now. They get more comfortable every game out. Um, they have tough kids, you know, so uh, Spitzley have, has really stepped up. They got Megan Walker back, who I always really enjoy watching Megan Walker play. Um, and, and then they have, you know, Voss, who does what she does, uh, let alone Taylor Williams, who is very, very talented. So we don't, ha we don't have a team in the, in the league that recruits kids that aren't capable of, of being special at this level. Um, at any point, any of those kids can step up, and we still have our hands full.